Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this colorful text slice animation is done entirely using After Effects and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080 and frame rate 30 fps. Duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now first we are going to create our background. So right click new and let's create a solid. Now color it's completely up to you can pick whatever you want. But I'm going to pick this one. Just click on OK. So here we have our background. Now we are ready to add our text. But instead of writing the full text completely, we are going to animate individual characters. So for that I'm going to create another composition. And let's call this one M because I'm going to type motion. So I'm going to type the first letter and let's make this one 500 by 500. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now inside this composition, we are going to type our first character. So which is M for motion and let's select the text tool and just click. Now I'm using this Norwester font, but again, it's completely up to you can pick whatever you want. Let's create the text and let's align it to the center, something like that. If you want, you can move its anchor point to the center using the script or you can just simply select the layer, hold on the control key and double click on this. So here we have our text. Now I'm going to press S and let's scale this up to something like let's say 150. Now I'm going to split this into two parts. So for that, I'm going to select the pen tool. Make sure that the layer is selected. Now first click on this end point, something like this. After that, just click on over here. Now you can just simply create a shape like this so that it will cut out this portion using a mask. Now I want the other part as well. So for that, I'm going to select this layer, press Ctrl D and let's press M for mask properties. And instead of add, we can use the subtract to get the other part. Now you will notice that we will have this sort of line. Now in order to fix this, all you have to do is just simply select this and hold on shift key and select this point. Now just play around with the position little bit of these and you can see that now we have got rid of this line perfect so we have our character now our next step is to animate its position so for that i'm going to select both of these layers and let's probably zoom in and i'm going to move somewhere around 20 frames and let's press p for position let's add keyframes go to the very beginning i'm going to select one of these parts and i'm going to just move it to the bottom side and just place it something like that and I'm going to select the other part and I'm going to make it come from the top something like that so now if I play back you can see we have both of these parts coming in we can select the keyframes press F9 and you can go to the graph if your graph looks different then make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph now over here I'm going to tweak this little bit just like this again it's completely up to you can pick whatever you want Maybe this is too fast, so we can just move it to somewhere around one second. Perfect. So here we have our text. Now I also want a line to come from this angle. So for that, we can select the pen tool. Make sure none of the layer is selected. After that, you can click on this end point and one over here so that it will create a line. Now make sure that fill is set to none and we only need stroke stroke color you can pick whatever you want let's make this white and stroke width we can just lower this down for now something like seven works good now let's animate it using the trim path so go to add and we are going to add a trim path let's open the properties let's go to very beginning and i'm going to set both of these values to zero let's add keyframes now let's move somewhere around 20 frames and i'm going to set both of these values to 100 now we won't be able to see any line because both of these keyframes are starting from the same point. So in order to do that, we are going to just move these top keyframes slightly. Now let's select these, press F9. Again, it's completely up to you. You can just tweak the graph to look however you want. I'm going to make it something like that so that we have this line coming in, something like that. Again, it's completely up to you. You can just play around with these properties to just have whatever type of look you want. And I think I want this to be a little bit longer, something like that. Perfect. So here we have our line. Now I want one more copy of this. So I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D. And on this one, I'm going to increase its stroke width and let's probably change its color as well. Let's make this red for now. Let's select this, press U and over here we are going to 
play around with these properties and I'm going to just make this smaller something like this and I'm going to just add a little bit of delay something like that perfect so here we have everything now we can add colors to this so let's select this one and let's search for fill let's drag it over here again it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever color you want I'm going to use the colors from this palette so let's just simply copy this fill and just paste it onto the other layers so we have this and I'm going to just paste it over here as well maybe let's make this little bit lighter so that we can see perfect so here we have our animation now we're done with our first character and in the same way we can just animate other characters as well so let me just quickly do that so let's select this press ctrl d and i'm going to call this one o so before we continue if you enjoy my content and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and some exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so if you want to support me then you can join my patreon page link for that is in the description so let's continue and let's open this up by double clicking on it now just simply select this layer and press O and let's select this and press O. Now we have our second character. Now you can see that again it has the same animations but I want it to have it at a different angle. So it's actually quite easy. Let's select this press U and first we are going to change the mask. So for that I'm going to select this and let's select the these endpoints and I'm going to just move it to this side. Something like that. Let's select the bottom layer. Or the top layer and I'm going to do the same thing so that we have the text revealed something like that perfect so here we have our character now let's tweak the animation so you can see that in the beginning it's moving to this side but instead we can just make it come from this side like that let's do the same thing over here as well so just play around with their positions to however you want perfect so we have our characters coming in let's do the same thing with the lines as well so i'm going to select this and let's select the pen tool now you can just simply click and drag these points something like this you can just simply play around with its position just to make it wherever you want let's do the same thing with this one as well Perfect. So here you can see we have this. Now if I play back, you can see we have already applied all the animations and we have our second character. Now let me just quickly change its color as well. This one I'm going to make this red and just paste it onto the other layers as well like this. So here we have our second character. Now in the same way, you can create other characters as well. Let me just quickly do that. Let's select this M, press Ctrl T and over here I'm going to just type T and T over here as well. And let's just simply change its color. So here we have our third character. And in the same way, you can just keep on doing this and just create all the other characters. So now I've created all the characters and let me just quickly import them. So we have M. Now we have all the characters and you can see that now they are just simply at one position and we can quickly change that. So for that, I'm going to select the text tool and I'm going to just type the text which we want over here. So I want the motion and let me just quickly align it to the center just to get what we are doing. And if you want, you can play around with its position as well. Let's scale this up and let's align it again perfect so this is going to be our final position and let me just quickly select all of these layers press s and we are going to just scale this down just to match with this perfect so i'm going to just quickly select the first letter which is m and i'm going to just align it to the left side and after that i'm going to select the last letter which is n and i'm going to align it to the right side and now we can select the m and hold on the shift key and select the last characters now under the align panel, we have the distribution option. So if I click over here, you can see that we have already distributed all of these. And sometimes you will notice that a couple of these layers are not oriented how we want. If I disable this, you can see that we have this and I want it over here. So for that, you can just simply press P for position. Let's add a keyframe and we have this O over here. Let's press P for position. Let's add a keyframe. Now just copy its position and just paste it over here and just copy its position and just paste it over here now you can probably uncheck the position so here we have just simply tweak these 
and now we have all the characters perfect so we can enable the final text once again and i want these to go back to the final position once they have revealed so i'm going to select everything press p let's add a keyframe let's move a couple of frames ahead now just simply align all of these to these characters let me just quickly place this below so that we can see what we are doing and just randomly do that you don't have to be precise just align these two wherever you have these characters perfect so we have everything now if i play back you can see first our characters revealed then after that they go back to their original position you can probably hide the main text and let's just simply play around with the animation now i'm going to select all of these press f9 let's go to the graph again up to you however you want so i'm going to just make it to look like this now if i play back you can see we have these characters coming in and after that they go back to their original position let's play around with their timing let's select all the keyframes and let's move them forward perfect so we have our animation now there is one more thing that you can do we can add an adjustment layer so right click new let's add an adjustment layer and on this one i'm going to apply a echo effect and let's drag it over here now first thing i'm going to do is change the timing so i'm going to set this to negative 0.001 and number of echoes i'm going to set this to 60 and under the echo operator uh, instead of add let's set this to maximum so now you will notice that if I play back now the pre preview will be really slow because we have a bunch of different copies over here. Now I don't want this in the beginning so we can probably hide this over here as soon as our characters start moving. So somewhere around here we can just reveal this. So now if I play back you can see as our characters are moving in you can see we have this very nice thick outlines which is exactly what we want. So I don't want this to be stay like this. So let's pick a point. So somewhere around here, we can add a keyframe for opacity and let's move a little bit ahead and I'm going to set this to zero. Now we can split this layer. So hold on the Alt key, right square bracket and we have this. Perfect. Now we can select all of these and we can pre-compose them. So right click and let's pre-compose. Let's call this text. So things will remain same. Just click on OK. So here we have our thing. Now I want the background to animate as well. So for that we can just pick a couple of these points. So first I'm going to select this press S and I'm going to just animate the X value. So for that we can uncheck these and let's pick a point. So somewhere around here, let's set this to quarter just for now. And let's move to somewhere we have our text and I'm going to set this value to zero. Now you can select the keyframes, press F9. Again, just up to you, whatever you want to do with the graph. I'm going to set this to something like that. So here you can see we have the background moving in as well as our text are moving. Perfect. So once you're done with this, we are ready to create a bunch of different copies of this. So I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D and let's select the bottom layer. First, I'm going to change its color. So on this one, let's apply fill and let's drag it over here. Again, I'm going to just change its color to this yellow. Now in order to make this visible, I'm going to just move this layer one frame behind like that. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D and let's select the bottom layer and I'm going to make this one red. Again, in order to make this visible, let's move this one frame ahead like that. Now I'm going to select this and press Ctrl D at last. And on this layer, we don't want the any animation. So I'm going to just go to the very beginning and let's uncheck the scale and install instead of this i am going to just set this to white like that so if i play back you can see we have all of these and at last we have our characters perfect now i want these to change colors as well so for that we can select the text layer which we have over here and let's press ctrl d and let's apply fill to this and let's change its color so i'm going to use this dark color we can probably set this to full for now and in order to make this appear after the transition, we can just simply select one of these layers, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and let's place this on top of this layer. Now we can select this and I'm going to change its track mat. So just pick whip and just select this top layer. Now, if you're using the older versions of After Effects, then this option will be changed. You will have a drop down which will say 
track mat alpha inverted and all so you can just play around with this or you can just upgrade to the newer version so here we have everything now we don't want the track mat we actually want the opposite of it so i'm going to just click over here so you can see as this is closing you can see that we have the final text reveal something like that now it's up to you you can just play around with its position however you want you can just add delay to this something like this just by moving its timing like that so here you can see we have our animation perfect now i want this to have a little bit of stop motion kind of vibe so for that we can just simply right click let's create a new adjustment layer and on this one i'm going to apply posturize time let's drag it over here now if you want to make the timing of this slower or faster you can do this thing so let's select all of these layers right click pre-compose and let's call this one main animation just click on ok and on this layer we can right click go to time enable time remapping now just pick a point where the animation stops so let's say somewhere over here let's add a keyframe now you can probably delete the last keyframe so select this let's delete it and now you can just simply move these keyframes further away so that this will make the animation slower or you can move these closer to make the animation really fast like this so i'm going to just move it a little bit further away like that now i'm going to play around with the posterize time as well so instead of 12 uh, instead of 24 i'm going to set this to 12. so now if i play back you can see we have this very nice stop motion kind of animation and there's one more thing that you can do let's open this up and over here we can create a null object so right click new let's add a null object now i'm going to select both of these text layers and let's parent this to the null now we can select this press s and let's add a keyframe for scale let's move it somewhere around here and in the beginning we can have it something like that now select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and i'm going to just set this to like that now if i play back you can see we have this very nice scaling down motion perfect if you want you can just extend it a little bit now we have edit all the animations and you can see we have our final text reveal so this is how you can create these kind of slicing text animations and all the project files for this tutorial are available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Bye.